Inner well. I'm not putting it in a tent, it's way too hot in there. It's too warm of a day out there, but I'm gonna get this thing ready to go. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is put a little just small bits on the top here. This is stuff that's easy to burn, of course. And I'll put in some larger pieces like this. Some of this is oak. Uh, I haven't had any luck with that oak. I cut down a tree and it just, just was hard to burn. So, Okay, so all this is is starter log. And really, all it really is is sawdust and wax. This is good for cutting up into smaller pieces. You put them in your backpack in case you have to start a fire. Especially when it's windy. Because this stuff will burn. So, I like to get it started pretty good, pretty well, and just put it in, and let it do its magic. So, see this stuff I scraped off? It's still burning pretty good. So, um, I need to check my flu. Okay, that's closed. So this is open. I want it to be open to allow air to flow through freely. I'm going to open this up all the way. So, we'll just come back when it's lit. Okay, all that newspaper I put in there is burning off right now. And neighbors shouldn't complain because I smoke meat back here all the time. And Let's have a little check see, huh? Oh yeah, that's gonna burn. So I'll leave that open for a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm burning off the oils off the stainless steel and any other impurity. So when I use it in a tent, it's not gonna fill the tent with whatever uh, may be on it. And who knows what's on it really, but this is a good company and this is one of the finest tent stoves in the land that's for sure so it's burning really nice uh, there we go check it out all right so I'm gonna wait for a little bit longer probably until I get some a little bit more coal coals in there I'm gonna shut everything down I just want to, I just want to uh, get it started. Yeah, just put in another log, huh? So. <clears throat> yeah. Got some pine in there, got some oak in there. So, get a little bit of action. There, that's some ash coming out. Spark arrestor should take care of all, anything that's going to come out. Come through there, it's going to be harmful. So I'm going to close down the flu. Okay, there's all the way closed. I'll leave it open a little bit, see what happens. Okay, so there, I just choked off all the oxygen. Uh, I think it's going to create a problem. I'll let some, let some oxygen in there, I think. <laughs> I can see some flames in there. So that's pretty good. I'll be right back. All right. So we got the cops over there. 
don't know what they're doing. They're probably waiting for backup. They're looking right over here. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. I have the flue wide open, ventilating on the bottom. Let's see what the water's doing, huh? That's good. It's just warm right now, so it's pretty cool a little spigot though. So that tells you how much heat it's putting out. So this uh, water tank is getting heat from the stove and the flue at the same time. So when the cops left. I don't know what they were just checking it out or what. But you know, if this thing is safe, safe for the national forest, and I should be good to go. But I'm surprised really that they didn't try to shut me down. All right, it's been about 25 minutes, and uh, you can look at the top of the stove is starting to change colors. So let's see if the water's boiling yet. Oh yeah, water's boiling. So yeah, 25 minutes, pretty good. Want some tea, Michelle? Oh, do you want some tea? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to let it burn out, and I'm going to uh, put it away. Let it cool and put it away. So, looks like it's doing pretty good. A nice flame. So, that's it, man. That's the winter well. Catch you later. So that is just sizzling away. I'm going to make you some tea while I'm waiting. And you know how much how much food tastes uh, much better in the mountains for whatever reason? That's what I'm imagining right now. A bit of tea and some spun honey. That looks pretty good by itself. So, okay. Mmm, look at that. I'll let it cook for just a minute. I'm going to throw that egg in there. I'll drop that egg in there, huh? I guess my only complaint about this stove is that. I'd like to put it on something higher because I'm down on my knees. And. Oh! Uh, didn't break the yolk, but. Mm, don't have any salt and pepper either out here, but. So uh, we really let it cook. like just licking his chops at that bacon. Yes, he is. He's a losing leg hand. Imagine this. Whoa! Like I said, I can take this off here, and it'll cook a little bit hotter, so I'm not going to do that yet. Or with this dish. So let that cook up, have some more tea. Best bacon is nice and thick too. Mm. All right. Take this some of that up like this. All right, huh? Looks pretty good. 
Bacon, and some of this nice egg. Like this, fold it over. Mmm. Mmm. This is Guy Solis, Gentleman's Edge. Y'all take care, huh?